I don't have enough of these T-slot nuts and they're pretty expensive. So I decided to come up with my own solution and this is uh, what it looks like. It's a 3D printed thing with a hex nut pressed inside. I've seen similar hex nut uh, solutions but uh, the special thing with mine is that they have this spring here. Like that, it flexes a little. And they have a similar thing on the standard ones, but it's a ball and some spring inside of here somewhere. And the purpose of this spring is to make sure that these stay in place once you have pressed them inside of an aluminum profile. Like that. So when you do like that, it won't go out. It also makes sure that this T-slot nut is pressed up against the surface there. So how strong are these compared to these, do you think? I will do a little test now to see. So according to these results you get about 70% of the strength when using these ones instead of these ones. But that's pretty good I guess because these ones are made of plastic and a simple hex nut. But uh, I should say that the plastic has only one simple purpose in this and, and that's to keep the hex nut in the correct place before the tightening and once the tightening starts the friction between this nut and the aluminum should keep this nut from rotating even though the, the plastic of course helps a little initially so the reason that it is stronger when you use these ones compared to these ones, it has to do with the contact area between this and the aluminum profile. This one has a comparatively large contact area. It's uh, this. And this. And on, on this one, it's, it's on the li this little surface here. And this is the same on the other side here. So when you look at the damage left behind on the aluminum, you can see that these ones leave a much larger damage area compared to these ones. And that has to do with the contact area. And here is my calculations if someone is interested. And if you want to download the 3D file, please check the video description.